Hi, my name is Matt Robinson. I'm an environmental protection specialist with the District of Columbia Department of Energy and Environment and 2011 alumnus of the Johns Hopkins Master's Program in Environmental Science and Policy. Plastic pollution is on the rise. Our addiction to plastic as a society has led to extensive pollution of our air, rivers, streams, lakes, and oceans with materials that can take hundreds of years to degrade. This lightning talk will focus on what the nation's capital is doing to reduce the presence of plastic pollution in our local waterways and how we are taking a regional leadership role on reducing the impacts of plastics on the Chesapeake Bay. Again, plastic pollution is on the rise. This graph from a recent article published in the Journal of Science shows how plastic pollution will increase exponentially in the coming decades if mitigation measures are not taken to reduce waste. DC has been working for close to 15 years to reduce trash, including plastic trash in our local waterways like Rock Creek, the Anacostia River, and Potomac River. Thanks to promulgation of a total maximum daily load for trash for the Anacostia River, DC and other local governments in the Anacostia watershed have been working to implement best management practices to reduce trash pollution. Examples of DC's efforts include installation of nine trash traps, establishment of a five cent fee on single use plastic bags, a ban on styrofoam foodware, education and outreach programs, and enhancement of local street sweeping programs. We partner with a variety of local government agencies and nonprofit partners to implement these programs. Hundreds of thousands of pounds of trash have been removed thanks to these and other practices. However, what about the small stuff? Put simply, our team deal only focuses on macroplastic or particles greater than or equal to one inch in length or diameter. Given all the uproar about microplastics or particles less than or equal to five millimeters in length or diameter, the district wanted to know if we have microplastics in our water bodies. In 2017, we conducted a study looking at the presence of microplastics in our submerged grass beds in the Potomac River, just like the bed you see here, just south of Reagan National Airport. Submerged grass beds are an important aquatic habitat for birds, fish, and other critters. This graph shows, this graph shows that we found microplastic concentrations in grass beds in the Potomac to be significantly higher than in the surrounding water column. As a result of this study and growing concerns about microplastics, DC is working with other states, federal agencies, and other organizations through the Chesapeake Bay Program on the development of an ecological risk assessment of microplastic pollution in the Potomac River. By focusing this analysis on a major fishery species, in this case striped bass, we will learn more about the potential toxicological effects of microplastics and potentially define a threshold for microplastic pollution in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. For more information on the district's efforts to reduce trash and plastic pollution in our waterways, please go to the web address below. For more information on the Chesapeake Bay Plastic Pollution Action Team, go to the second web address. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at my contact information below. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this lightning talk.